Hi guys! So, I have been really sucked in. This is Sharpie ink because I leaned on a piece of paper that was still not dry. Um, anyway, uh, I have been sucked in to low waste lifestyle YouTube videos and just kind of like living on a budget. And those are kind of things that I want to implement in my life as well as my husband's life. Um, I've always been kind of a little bit more money savvy, always trying to save money, you know, trying to live a comfortable lifestyle, you know, but still staying on a budget and living within our means. Um, I want us to be on the journey to be debt free, um, which we are working towards right now. Uh, so we're both working to pay off our credit cards. I have my car loan that I'm paying off. And then we also are paying off our wedding, which is happening next year. And yeah. So the first thing that I did today actually was while I was at work, a woman that I worked with was making spaghetti for the family we work for. And so she used these jars and she just thrown them in the trash. And I was like, I was actually gonna go buy jars, but why would I go buy jars when I could just recycle them? So I did take the labels off and I did wash them earlier. They are like, as you could see, like, what's the word? Sauce jars. So I have two, two sauce jars with me right now. And then also one smaller jar. This one had like a cut up mushrooms in it. So it's just a little bit of a smaller jar. I am gonna head over to Sprouts, which is on my way home, which is very convenient that I have a Sprouts close to my house. And they have their bulk section. Now it's been a long time since I've been to the bulk section at Sprouts. I used to go back in the day when I was vegan and I ate a lot of smoothies and I would put chia seeds in it. And instead of buying a huge bag of chia seeds that I would never go through my entire life, I had a small jar kind of like this one that I would take with me and I would fill up with chia seeds. So with that said, I'm going to head over and kind of scope out the scene and I figured I'd take you guys along with me while I'm at Sprouts, just kind of like looking around. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything per se, but I just kind of want to take a look at that. And then I also need to go to TJ Maxx to look for a new suitcase as well as I want to get a Dutch oven pot because I found this bread recipe that I really want to make and I'm kind of getting excited because you know I have been working a lot approximately like 50 hours a week plus going to school full-time and I finally you know I'm in a position where I can start to work less and that is my goal is to starting in the fall and all the way through until you know, me and my husband move and until I'm done with school in general, I want to work less and focus more on school. But that will also give me more time to kind of do the things that I love. And that includes cooking, baking, I love crafts, I love just trying to make things feel nice, I guess. I really like keeping my home looking nice and fresh and pretty but like when I'm so busy like I don't have time to clean I don't have to time to cook I don't have time to do anything that I truly enjoy and cooking is really a distressor for me but I haven't been able to do that a lot lately because it's just been me since my husband is deployed and it's really kind of hard to make meals just for yourself and um, so I've just been kind of eating just chicken and veggies which is great because that goes along with me trying to lose weight but with all that said, I am going to go ahead and head on over to Sprouts. I am turning really red because it is 85 degrees and I did not turn on my air, so then my audio didn't get messed up. I will see you guys in a second. I had to stop off at the gas station before I went to Sprouts because I forgot that I was on empty. Fun fact. Um, but really quick while I'm here, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite singers and I wanted to recommend her to all of you guys. Um, she's a folk singer. Her name is Ira Wolf, and she is amazing. All of her songs like speak to your soul. I just, I love her and I highly suggest that every single one of you guys 
goes and listens to her songs i'll put a link to her spotify down below but her music is amazing and i love it now off to sprouts all right so made it to sprouts i'm just gonna walk up and down the bulk aisles and show you guys everything that they have so these are like the nuts Okay, these apple honey almonds sound delicious. They have sea salt and vinegar almonds, honey roasted almonds, smoked, a smoked flavored almond, Indian curry almonds, Thai almonds, Moroccan almonds, cinnamon almonds, what are these? Pecans, pecans, and pecans. They do have three packaged nuts up there. Hi! Ran into somebody that I know. Awkward. I have buttered toffee peanuts. Those are my favorite. And I can never find them anywhere. Some more nuts. Let's see. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. I love them. Pumpkin seeds. More pumpkin seeds. Shelled pumpkin seeds. Sunflower seeds dried plantains, peanut butter pretzels, just regular corn nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and here is trail mixes. Uh oh, so they have spices, so sea salt, Malayan salt, Sugar, sugar, sugar. Ooh, chocolate chips. Good idea. Coconut flour, almond flour. Oh, so these are all flours. But just different types of starches. Texas trail mix. These are chocolates and nuts, granolas, big barrels of them. Let's see. Multicolored popcorn. Ooh, that sounds good. Some bars, beans, beans and rice. And popcorn. I might try to get some of this. I love making homemade popcorn. What's this? European hot cereals like oatmeal, more granolas, dried fruits. And then I believe they have candy on the other Look at side. They save reusable bags that you could buy to put stuff in. They're only 99 cents. That is so smart. I might get a few. They even have bottles for your honey and oil. I'm mad because it's hot, but I did bring my jars in with me. But as you guys saw, they had these cute little bags that were only 99 cents. And they're for the bulk bins, which is great because then you don't have to lug around your heavy jars with you. And you can just fill it up which is great. I wouldn't suggest doing it for like the flowers and stuff, but I'll show you what I picked up. So I got two of these bags and hang on, let me prop you up. Okay, so I got two of these bags and I honestly just grabbed some random stuff just because I wanted to try it. First of all, I got a white nectarine because this looked scrumptious and I really wanna eat some because it smells so good, but I'll eat this here in a second. I got the sticker stuck on me. Ugh. That's the only thing that also bothers me about fruit is it's like, okay, you could just eat it, but why does it have to have a sticker? They already just type in the code anyway, so they might as well just type in the code. And then in my other bag, I actually got popping corn and they had this like, I love popcorn. If there's anything you should know about me, popcorn and pretzels are my favorite, but they had this like, so they had this like multi-color popping corn and... I just got a little bit. I figured it would be really, really 
cute to try. I don't know if it's gonna taste more like grainy or if the different types of popcorn are gonna be harder to eat, but figured I'd give it a shot because this would be cute. And especially like if you have a movie night, I'm sure they'll all turn out white anyway, but got them anyhow. I am so glad that they had these bags and my total was $2.25. And each of these bags was 99 cents. So this was the $2 and like this cost me like nothing, like nothing. And all the prices inside of Sprouts were so cheap. Like they had um, everything, all the fresh produce was like so, so cheap. I should have taken a video while I was walking around the produce, but I ran into a really old friend of mine who actually works at this Sprouts apparently. And we were catching up and I didn't want to make things awkward by whipping out my camera, but yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is run to TJ Maxx really quick, or maybe I'll do that tomorrow since I get off early tomorrow. So I might do that tomorrow. I'm tired and I have a headache and yeah ready to just go to sleep <laughs> catch you guys in a minute alrighty so here's my popcorn side by reuse the little jar I'm so proud of myself um, but now I need to clean my disaster of a house at some point I need to I'll set up my sewing machine so I can mend my little sister's new shirts for her work. My house is disgusting. I like literally put cleaning on hold while I did this four week condensed class. I'm working on my final so it's almost done and then my life can get back to normal. I could be back to normal. But I do need to deep clean before I leave for my trips because I leave for a personal trip next week. And then I leave for a business trip five days after I come back from my personal trip. So it'll be fun.